What is up, guys? Welcome back to Armored Core Verdict Day. We are still chugging along. So last time we uh, we got introduced to Unax, and uh, they're scary when there's four of them. Um, so it should be okay. If we run into the game, if we run into them again, we will try to separate them and take them out one by one, as they told us to do. I did not do that. We'll, we'll uh, give it a shot. First off, we didn't name. I also we didn't name the AC, so let's uh, let's do that. And I, I bet you guys can't guess what I'm gonna name it. There we go. Red Wong. <laughs> okay. Up next. We have a submission. Destroy enemy ACs. AC Hakute 2. Uh, lightweight bipedal type rifle and sniper rifle. Built from ability. It lacks in firepower. Poise hit and run tactics. I don't, I don't appreciate hit and run tactics. So you guys said that Verdict Day takes place about 60 years after Armor Core 5. Too many fools rely on firepower alone. Faith in your own ability is worth much more. Oh yeah? Brother, I will prove there is more to battle than just winning. Alright, Dokusai. I, I appreciate your color scheme. Kind of. It's 100 years after 5. Brother! <laughs> He's fast. Actually, I appreciate this tactic. It's actually hard to hit him. Oh, he left the arena, so that's cool. Oh, there you are. Goodbye. There we go. Lightweight biped, so he's very squishy. Yeah, that was still kind of a rough fight. Um, if if he had more damage output, we would we we would have been in trouble right there. Uh, so we got some new arms and some light bipedal legs. Gotta see, cause I'm bad at the game. It is funny, they definitely made the criteria for getting S ranks a lot harder in this game because we got S ranks all the time in 5. So the pilot was Dokusai, AC was Hakite 2, Origin was the Quet Hills, male age 23. Member of the mercenary collective, the Iron Path, which is said to employ unique combat style founded on the methods of traditional martial arts. Though the organization's exclusiveness and secrecy mean few concrete details are known, he held the introductory rank of Tiger, indicative of a lack in tempering, the group's term for combat experience. He died in the Calpin Waste wetlands. Yeah, I feel like they were handing S ranks out like candy in five, so it's not a bad thing they made them harder. Okay, so next up is the Shrill enemies within the territory, snipers, defenders, and transport helicopters as per usual. So we're gonna attack a defense squadron of Venid Unit 16, eliminate all military assets in the designated territory. It is reported that a part of the enemy garrison is preparing to move out of the territory. As our objective is to eliminate threats from the target just territory, there is no need to pursue departing enemies. Increasing, uh, completing si uh, side quests increases player rank too. Yeah. Which is good, because we're gonna do all of them. Main system. Mode. Don't mind me stalking for the journalist. Choppers are preparing for takeoff. We were hired to drive these forces out, not to destroy them. But that's not much fun, is it? <laughs> okay, I'm Maggie. The, the bloodlust is here. Oh, they have the, the energy-based ones now. We need to do this to like the end of five. 
You don't have to kill these people, but kill them anyway because it's fun. All right, operator. Sounds good, Maggie. They're taking off at point A. Kill confirmed. System scan mode. I think we're good at point A. I'm going to point B. Oh, we got snipers? Okay. And I get shot anyway. The snipers are more competent in this one, which is probably a good thing, because they're pretty easy to deal with in uh, five. Oh my god, like, what the fuck? Is Alright, we didn't know. Uh, there's a, where is that other snake? Oh shit, what? What? Where's their chopper at? Where? Where, guys? Alright, that's fine. Gonna be a shit show to get to get through. I I gotta kill these guys. They're fucking me up. I probably need better kinetic resistance for these guys now. I think they're hitting a lot harder. I got punched by something or did the crashing helicopter hit me? No, I got punched, I see him. No, he's gone. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Ow. Well, there's a D rank right there, probably. His name is probably Frederick Lannister, aka Chatterick. Oh, is that a is it a uh, front mission reference? D rank, yeah, that was bad. This is a rough mission to do well on a blind. Yeah, that we got our ass rocked right there. I mean, I would have been fine if I wouldn't have hit that damn those tanks at the end and blew myself up. But it's fine. Why is everyone always trying to find lost forbidden secrets around here? Because they want that tech, dude. Big big money in that tech. Oh, uh, we can rent a UNAC. Should we rent a UNAC? Dude, why don't we rent a UNAC for this mission? Oh, rip your wallet. Wait till I have more money then. Right, I was going to pick the sniper because I thought they would, they would hold back. Whoa, completely different soundtrack. System. Scam Our task is eliminating the forces in this area. They are survivors from another battle. There's hardly any of them. I doubt they'll put up much fight. Watch out for reinforcements, though. System. Okay. We're being pursued. Move in to intercept. What is that thing? Yes, ma'am. Oh, shield boy. Double kill? Anyone see that? Double kill? Maybe not. Maybe that wasn't a double kill. I thought it was. Wait, bodies in the water? No readings. That's it. You've proved yourself again. 
You're no ordinary mercenary. Oh, that's the the nice. um the big Maybe boys with the shooters. Yeah. Oh, are we in the contaminated zone? LLL corpses? What is LLL corpses? Wait, what is it? Eclipse arms forts? Those were the things from five, right? Like they were in the contaminated area or no, am I wrong? I think they were. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Uh, destroy enemy ACs. AC Trompe Leoel. Leoel. I think it's French. The contaminated area is slowly dispersing. Okay. Yeah, the boss from five. Yeah, yeah. The corporation might have spread a bit. Yeah. Which gave way for people to expand. Someone must have gone all gone all Anatolia. Wait, gone to all of Anatolia mercenary on those guys. Someone must have gone all Anatolia's mercenary on those guys. Alright, I got you. I think that was us. Was that us from five? So the towers and the area, the contaminated area, just dispersing a lot of people to spread, right? Okay, so anyways, we have this new AC fight. Lightweight reverse joint type sniper and AS missiles. Use its leg superior jumping ability to snipe from the air. Exclusively built for long range combat. It is defenseless up close, which means boost real fast. Oh, it's implied that the war has been raging long before we enlisted as a merc. Okay. I like to play it safe. It might make for boring fights, but cut me some slack. All right, Cornelius Archibald. I don't want to die, so would it really help if you just laid down your life for me? I mean, I can't do that. <laughs> that thing's legs are OP for PvP. Great. Main system. Sento mode All right, here we go. Oh god, okay, this is fucking gonna be rough. Thank you for letting me know my arms are out of ammo again. Screenshot is up on the VAW. Hell yeah. Yeah, this is a good map for that fight. Especially, well, for the AI at least. The perfect sniper AI to harass you and run. I mean, that that was a cool, like, like uh, conceptually, that build's kind of cool. And the way the AI, like, acted was really cool too. New parts. Hey. All right. Cornelius Archibald. Origin was Magion City, Mel H31. Though reasonably well known among some mercenary circles, it was equal parts of fame for its, it, it was equal parts fame for its accomplishments and infamy for a notorious obsession with his bottom line that saw him abandon work mid-mission on several occasions when changing circumstances meant the contract was no longer worth the pay. Minimizing AC repairs and conserving ammunition appeared to be the closest thing to a hobby the man knew. Killed in action, massive Delongo. R.I.P. to him. Alright. 
Let's go get the parts and then we have the next story mission. If you unlock his LRJ leg, you should get it. Oh, the reverse joint legs. Light reverse joint legs. Good job. Love watching you, Fred. The totally not creepy journalist. Peekaboo sniper. How do I see your? Is that a? Do I? Need, I probably need to be online to see whatever you 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 posted about all of them. Yeah. I'm really debating on grabbing this for the extra ammo capacity. You know, putting on a KE core might not be a horrible idea. Cause I feel like we have our resistance to KE is really kicking our ass in this game. Yeah, no, I know. I need to download something for the online to work for this game, though. It said, <laughs> which you can't do from the store directly from the game. You love making jokes all the time about Fred being just a creep the entire game, watching you. Yeah. Uh, so we could go. We're, we'll have a reduction in AP, but we could pick a different core up for KE defense. I don't know. Or we go K defense arms, maybe. We have the CE defense mostly on our core right now. And our legs, right? We have, oh, wrong button. Yeah, I'm thinking KE arms might not be a bad idea because that's really, I think we're taking a lot of damage from regular shots, not energy based or, uh, yeah, energy, no, uh, chemical based weaponry. Probably go for some. I don't really like that side of the arms, but. I don't mind these. I like that little Zaku shield on the side, too. Yeah, the compat compatibility pack DLC, yeah. Let's buy these arms for right now and get some KE defense. Besides our head. I don't want to switch the core off, but I don't know if we're really dealing with a lot of chemical weaponry right now. Let's put these on. Let's put those on for right now, and we'll run with that a little bit and see how it goes. A little extra defense should hopefully go a little, little ways at least. The other arms look cooler in my opinion, but it's fine. All right, good. All right, story mission four. Everything's unknown. That's great. Okay, engage in combat in the specified area. Mission objective is classified. Notes from the signs office. The client has asked for the details of the operation to be withheld until rendezvous on location. This contract should be accepted only if you're willing to assume its risks. Okay, really quick guys, before we do this. Where do we build Unax at? How do we do that? grab the popcorn for this oh god oh uh, we can't do it yet okay okay that's all I need to know you know what for fun we're gonna bring a friend Let's see how it goes. That's a lot of ammo. I don't care about the payout. Oh, what is that thing? Right on time. You marks are punctual. Oh, does someone hire us to kill us? I have one question. I see that thing. 
team you've got there. Who are you with? Are you with the Foundation? Your task is simple. I want you to pit yourselves against our weapon. This thing, as you put it. Oh god, what the hell is that? <laughs> That's not an answer. We're using live rounds, so defeat could be your death. Oh, it looks terrifying. It's like a mini... Oh, so when we die, we'll supply a eunuch to fight with you. It wouldn't be a fair fight otherwise. What are your intentions? Where's my buddy that I brought? What do you have to gain from challenging us? Enough talk. Let's begin. Good luck. Wait. Yo, Possum Copy, thank you for the follow. All right, whose voice was it, guys? Yo, thank you for the prime sub. Holy shit. I appreciate that. That's cheap. Oh, God. But yeah, thank you so much for the prime sub, Possum Coffee. It's hopping. It's fucking hopping. What the fuck is that attack? Major damage to friendly unit. Great. The unit can charge again mindlessly. Friendly unit not responding. All right, that's one down. You gotta watch that spin attack, apparently. I game, game, I dodged. Sort of. Okay, what what is that about? I Alright, whatever. Fucking spin kicked me twice. Oh, I missed the scrap. Who is that mercenary? Disappointed that a mere mercenary survived? Or are you worried about the money? You want Don't worry, you'll get your fee. I have the data I need. So that sounds like cheap, what but not as evil. What test is this anyway? You starting another war with those things? You ask too many questions. Fine, we're going then. Later. It's definitely cheap. Wish with the images you secretly took, they are not part of our contract. You've been snooping around a lot, I hear. Try not to tarnish your mercenary credentials, Blue Magnolia. Wait. Duly noted. Who's Blue Magnolia? I thought we were the... Is that the name of the company, I guess? He's just been chilling for 100 years. Well, yeah, I mean, he was an AI, so he didn't die. That's, that's just Maggie's. That's just their company, then. Maggie is Blue Magnolia. Okay. Hey, mission four cleared. We probably didn't need to bring up the other. I didn't know we had UNAC friends. I shouldn't have brought one too. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, it didn't. Oh, it didn't even take damage. Nice. It was a sniper, so it shouldn't have. Oh, that's her old Merc name. Okay. Oh, the foundation is chief. That's not a good sign. Uh, still more breaking news. Photographic proof of a new weapon under development by the foundation has emerged on VOW. Believed to be a new form of unmanned weapon, the contributor reports that he was hired to serve in a live fire combat simulation test, suggesting that use of the weapon in actual combat may not be far off. While the foundations uh, are non-combatants, their lineup of military technologies beginning with UNAX makes them an entity not to be ignored, even by the three forces. Are robots coming for your jobs? <laughs> what sounds like science fiction may be a science fact! Bye, but for now, have a nice war! Yeah, so Magnolia Courteous, that, that is her, her name then. Oh, Maggie, Magnolia, okay. Duh. Makes sense when you say it that way. We'll have to go back and get the scrap for that later. So the Foundation person. The individual representing the Foundation, a group of researchers known for providing three forces with scientific and technological support. So Chief is out here giving weapons to the three companies. That's not a good sign for humanity at all. Very little is known about the Foundation itself, including how it came to be founded in its membership. Indeed, beyond the one representative, it is entirely unclear as to how many others are involved, let alone who. 
The Foundation claims complete neutrality in the conflict between the three forces by describing itself as an organization that simply supplies technology as a business, Anaheim Electronics. However, its actions can give the impression that the Foundation is exasperating their enmity. Great. I am so happy that Chief is just playing war games with humans. This is not, this is totally good for the, ra the human race. Also, remember they said the, the Foundation sold the Unix to the three forces, right? So, Chief, uh, yeah. He's like the anti nine ball. So, if Chief is distributing Unix, Chief's just having fun. He could turn all of them on all of the corporations at the same time and overthrow all three of them at the same time. Or he's just gathering data to build the perfect, like, uh, unit. Chief just wants war. Don't say that. I mean, come on. That's kind of on the nose. Nibel would crush the Unax. Nibel could be a Unax. He totally wouldn't do that, man. No, no. Chief would never do something like that. Since he defends humanity. I guess, theoretically, the point of Nine Ball was to control humanity and not let them die out. So that, that is fair. And the reason he comes after you is because you're too much of a threat. Or you're too powerful or whatever. Okay, so play mission... Or, I don't know. Play mission 4-6. I don't know why I said that. Uh, destroy all enemies within the territory. Chief would have a backdoor program to pull Order 66 on you. Yes, he would. <laughs> He'd laugh about it, too, while they're killing you. All right, so destroy all enemies in the territory. Okay, attack and assault squadron of Unit 15. All enemy military assets in, in the designated territory are to be destroyed. Yeah. <clears throat> what about all the good things war has done for us? Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? Jobs, technology, a common purpose. All we are saying is, give war a chance. Is that from something? Oh, wait a second. I just remembered something really quick. Where's Dirk at? I gotta find his name. He gets the free, the free sub. Dirk, hopefully you're still here, because you guessed the, the, the thing earlier. Uh, let me see really quick. How do I do this? Why is it giving me the mod? I don't want mod, I want the other thing. How do I switch that? Uh, oh, there we go. There you go, Dirk. Enjoy the sub. Crazy comrade gifted a tier one sub to Dirk Dunk. Okay. Anyways, mission time. Just think, Chief has, hasn't only been selling Unix, but all weapons. Right, so that makes it even worse. Chief is just Armored Core's Sundowner. I know who Sundowner is. Targets confirmed. The oh wait, this wasn't the next mission? Whoops. Do not run around and expose yourself too much. Take it's fine. One by one. Is someone behind me? Yeah, yes. The answer is yes. System. Scan mode. System. Enjoy that chocobo. Mode. Oh, fuck me. All right, where are the snipers at? Oh, whoa, 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 back up. Whoa, 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 stop it. Hey. Yeah, brother, stop it with the fucking shield. Jeez. System. Alright, where were those snipers at? There they are! Flanking maneuvers activated! All 
Alright, where's that fucker at? There he is. Okay, alright, where are the we have fly boys now. Alright, the other ones will follow us. We're gonna take the sniper out over here. Pardon me, sir. I've come to talk to you about your AC standard warranty. What is left? Now oh, we got one guy over here. Oh. Hey. Oh, what, what is that? Oh, it's one of the heavily armored ones, maybe? Ow! There we go. No hostile sighted. Yo, Ed, thanks for the raid! Pull out. What's up? That was some rough fighting. You did well. Thank you so much, Ed. How so was your stream strong. tonight? I don't know whether to be in awe or afraid. We're lucky to have you. Yes. Of course. Saksen Mokyo Korea. System. There you go. I figured out how to do shout outs. <laughs> hey, we got an S rank. Nice. All right, what's next? Uh, we we're supposed to do this one over here, I think, next. That's fine. Oh, AC Bouvalt. Bouvalt? I can't. I don't know French, guys. I'm trying here. Attempts to use a sudden boost route to close from mid-range. It's reliance on the attackers often lead to unnecessary maneuvers. How goes verdict day? Pretty good so far. It's harder than five. I will say that they they change they changed the balancing a lot, and the AI seems better. I liked five a lot. Ep. Ending was good. Bouviet. Oh, Bouviet. Thank you. All of a All right, Strix. We have the technology. Yeah, I was impressed by it. I, I don't know why it gets hate. Well, I can see why people wouldn't like it, but I thought it was fun. So whatever that, for whatever that's worth, right? Bye. Bye. Oh, no, you're not dead. All right, now goodbye. French lady, sir, sir. I'm sorry that I'm destroying these pronunciations. I'm trying here. That's Spanish, Pidgey. Hey, we got a new core. It's uh, thermal resistant, cool, and some medium bipedal legs. Got a B. I think I deserved an ass personally, but whatever. And we got new parts. Nice. Okay. Pilot Strix, AC Bouviat. All right, whatever. <laughs> Origin, Opal Cave, female, age 37. Stout hearted, brash, and completely lacking in femininity. She favored close quarters combat uh, on the front lines. Not one for finesse, she relied on, on audacity and momentum to carry her through battles, a trait which cost her multiple ACs over the course of her career, and explains how she was able to return alive so often nonetheless. 
killed in action in the Quet Hills. I actually play the same way that she does, so I get it. One of the main reasons 5th gen got so much hate is because it was a huge nerf from 4th gen and people cried about it. You'll die on this hill. You say nerf, but but how is it a nerf? It's different. I wouldn't say a nerf. And I think the combat in this game is... Well, okay. Uh, well, here's my Armored Core hot take. As of right now. I enjoy the combat more in this game than in 4th gen. So let that sink in for a second and everyone yell at me. It's okay. You're allowed to. I liked 4th gen a lot. Okay? But the game couldn't... I don't know. It just, like, can't keep up with itself, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. Yeah, 4th and 5th gen are so radically different, right? It seems to be a player skill issue. I don't know about that. They're just different. I mean, that's fine, Shadow Hero. I mean, here, put it this way. I've played, at this point now, I can say this, I've played every single Armored Core game. I have a pretty good opinion on the on the series. In my, That's what I'm gonna say right now. I've played every game from the first game in the series to the 15th game in the series, completely finished all of them, minus some parts, okay? I know. I think I might have a pretty good, I, my opinion holds some weight in this series. And I played 4 and 4 answer twice. So I mean, it's not like I just did it one time. People don't know how to play these games, Autos, and it's probably the answer. They don't know how to stay in the air because you don't have unlimited energy like you do in Armored Core 4 or in 4 answer. And I like when my mechs feel heavy. Like, I like the weight behind this game. Now, the, what I will say about 4 and 4 answer, it is very entertaining to fly around at ridiculously fast speeds and do all the crazy maneuvers and stuff. Like, that is actually really cool. And conceptually, the weapons... Like, there's a lot of good things about 4th gen. It's definitely up there. I'm not shitting on it. I like them. But I like this feel better. This reminds me of more of Armored Core Gen 1, 2, and 3 than 4 and 4 answer do. And granted, before I played these games, 4 Answer was like my second favorite Armored Core game. See, I like the aesthetics of this game. Now, they do look a little more plain, quote unquote. Like, they're, if that makes sense, I guess. Fourth gen's like crack and fifth's like weed. You like crack, but if you do it all the time, you'll die. You liked 5th gen the most, only said that because you've met people who will act like you're their enemy for liking 5th gen, yeah. Armored Core 3 is always going to be my favorite Armored Core game, though. I, I will say that. I, and Last Raven, followed by immediate 3, because of nostalgia, will always be my favorite. Last Raven is my favorite Armored Core game. Without a doubt. But, 5 and Verdict, or 5 and Verdict, they are climbing. Well, one thing I will say, M7, 4th gen at 60 frames per second breaks the game. And I'll tell you why, because all of them let me know something. All of your reload speeds and everything are tied to frame rate. So it, it literally changes the whole way the game plays compared to 30 frames per second. So if it, you know, like it's, it's a whole different concept right there uh, on its own right there. You feel like ACs are meant to be sleeker than 5th gen ACs? Well, 5th gen ACs actually remind me remind me of Wanderers a lot from uh, Front Mission, so that that is that's a point. Yeah, I mean mech designs in 4th gen look cooler. Oh, you meant 5th gen. Well, I'm talking about 4th gen now. Scope dog. Yeah, yeah. Scope dog's fair too. Yeah. I like the combat better in this game, though. I feel like you have to think more. Like, did you ever watch someone play 4-answer at a high level? I'm sure you guys have if you don't play at a high level yourself, because I don't play at a high level. 
It's literally just insanity the entire time. Like, there's no thinking, there's no strategy. Am I like not in the same way that you would imply in a game like this? And the only reason you're saying fourth gen has the best customization because they have a couple generic corporations that give you each an aesthetic is because of the uh, the uh, extra parts you can put on, whatever they're called. I forget what they're called already. It's all reaction, right? Right, exactly, Donaldson. It looks like a DBZ fight. Yeah, that is true. It is like a DBZ fight. You're in a so here's a good way to say it. In in Armored Core Gen 1, 2, 3, and 5, you're in a real robot. In Armored Core 4 and 4 answer, you're in a super robot. Yeah, stabilizers. Yeah. Four and four answer, super robot. Everything else, you're in a real robot. And I think, generally speaking, people like super robots more than real robots. High level 4 turns like Gundam and DBC out of Hate Child. Well, the thing about Gundam is... Well, depends on which Gundam you're talking about, I guess, also. 4th four, gen's more like, uh... I don't know, like, uh... Like, yeah, G Gundam, thank you all. That's what I was gonna say, it's more like G Gundam, really. Anyone who's seen what a lot of the talented artists in the community can do with a decal system in this game will agree that no other AC comes close to customer gen fifth gen. I've seen that first dystopian, yeah, they're pretty crazy. I would say fourth gen really isn't like Gundams. It's not like okay, it's not like the Universal Century Gundams. That's probably a better way to say it. My favorite timeline. Which is probably everyone's favorite timeline, but You want the Love Child fourth and fifth gen combat? That's probably gonna be Armor Core 6. For the record, you're probably gonna get that in Armor Core 6. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably why they wanted 6 gen to play between Gen 3 and Gen 5, right. You love hentai robots the most. Yeah, so I probably just killed my channel by saying that, but it's fine. Because, in reality, Armored Core 4 and 4 answer get the most views on my channel. <laughs> hey, we have an- oh, that's a straight upgrade. Do we say fuck the aesthetics and go to the straight upgrade right now? Yes, we do. Fourth gen pods are special, fifth gen pods for soldiers and warlords, right? Yeah, more like double up. No, that's Ron, uh, Ron Sue. That's exactly correct. Four is like uh, um, Gundam Double O. Literally because think of the weightlessness of all the Gundams in Double O compared to every other series. Jihad in the chat. <laughs> we are confirmed you in plus in, in six. Right, we are. Fourth is double O, fifth is eighth, eighth MS team. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Actually, fifth has aliens. Sort of, I think. Alright, we are. Oh, we didn't look at weapons, did we? Hold on, let's check weapons really quick. Keep an eye out for my Gatling gun. I don't see it yet. Uh, I want to look at pulse rifles over here, or pulse machine guns. Hey, there's the uh, the I think that's the Aranid from Arachnid or whatever it was called. Uh, we, I don't think we unlock. I'll, I'll check really quick. Sharks in space. Well, yeah, two is definitely aliens. <laughs> Disorder units are literally aliens. Uh, we have laser blades and no, we have shell. Oh, there's the shields. Yeah, we don't. We don't have the physical blades yet. Yeah, good garage. All the games have good garage music for the most part, though. Alright. Mm, 
do I want this actually? I guess not really. No, this one's still better. I like I like Verdict Day so far, Benefer. I think they made it harder, which is good. Because five was a little too easy. This game is giving me a run for my money more more so than Verdict Day did. Or than five did, sorry. Okay, men enemy force are autonomous arms. Are they Unix? No, the sperm cannons are back. Alright, eliminate all autonomous arms within the target area. Great. The targets are autonomous drones. Not too dangerous, but you'll find them rather annoying. Watch out for incoming enemies. There's not a lot of room to maneuver in this place. I think we might need to switch our FCS up, maybe. I feel like we're not saying locked on as easily in this game, but they could have just tweaked the way lock ons work. But what? Oh, it's a suicide bot. That's unfortunate. System scan mode. Oh, they missed. System scan mode. All right, no one's no one's left here. Depends on your FCS and camera performance. Okay. Happy AC is another age. Eh, I wouldn't call it happy. Happy AC is 100% formula front. System. People were just vibing. They're just happy to be it. Just everyone <coughs> formula front just happy to be there. Oh fuck! Here comes the sperm cells. They move slower in this game. They probably do more damage too, though. Ow, I got the suicide botted. I saw it and I didn't dodge it. Whatever, it's fine. Tanking it. Where are the scavengers at? Are they gonna show up? Maybe, maybe not yet. All right, nothing's here. You can shoot the sperms. They just have accuracy. Great. I see a hostile reading in an area we cleared. One that got away. Oh Beacon God! Set. Head over and take them out. It's a scavenger, isn't it? We don't know what to expect. Be careful. Great. The only ratio. I went the wrong way. Whoopsie. All right, we'll take our time. Maybe I should move my camera to the left side of the screen for this playthrough. We do hang to the to the uh, other side a lot more. All right, what's in here? Oh, it's a, they're. You won't survive many hits from that. Making your primary target. They're larger ones. Okay. Oh, they have the same eyes as the thing the chief was making us fight. System. Oh my God! Okay, they're giant suicide bots. Ow. Ouch. Those are unfriendly. 
Okay, we hang back. We hang back for those boys. You know, it'd be interesting if they penalized you for losses in this game. I guess Armored Core hasn't done that in a long time. Hey, there's one. It's about time. Lots of hostiles. The targets are autonomous drones. Not too dangerous, but you'll find them rather annoying. Watch out for incoming enemies. There's not a lot of room to maneuver in this place. You know, she says they're not dangerous, but they kind of are. Okay, hit the wall, that's good. Four enemies left. Uh, they're weak to chemical energy, or yeah, chemical energy, or chemical damage, I think. The battle rebels seem to do a lot of damage to them. The battle rebels are strong though. All right, are we done here? I think so. There's the sperm guns. That's about half Fucker. Hit me in the ass. I'm trying to be. Oh, it says ineffective. I didn't even notice that before. Okay. Don't dip below the water. Okay. Wait, why? We we could do that before. We're not allowed to do that anymore. No, I'll, I'll take your word for it, Alden. One that got away. Beacon set. Head over and take them out. We don't know what to expect. Be careful. All right, here we go again. I should have brought two battle rifles for this. You guys want to wander over this way? Oh, fuck. I tried to kick it. It didn't work. Okay, whatever. It's dead. Oh, come on. Hello, I've arrived. Who's left here? Too many. Yeah, fighting them on this map, they can get around you a lot easier, so it makes it kind of hard to deal with compared to before. They also are seeming to be more aggressive in this one. Or just tankier, maybe. There we go. These things are a pain in the ass. Oh, you do you go? Where do you end up at? Up there? That was found in the towers. It could be possible that they're ancient weapons that have gone feral. The towers, huh? They're a mystery too. Wonder who made the towers. The only thing we can be sure of is that they were built a long time ago. It seems that the three forces.
forces just want to claim what's inside. Surely it's someone They're we using know. the tech without any understanding of it. Pretty reckless of them. But I guess that sums up the human race, huh? Oh, you gotta like snipe them from up here too. That could have been cool. Listen, Aldous, and it's fine. All right, it worked out. We got a B. I'll take it. Okay, autonomous arms, unmanned weapons thought to be created during the last age. Cited across the globe, popular theory suggests that these devices were created in mass numbers, then abandoned to disuse. They exhibit a variety of forms and behaviors, from simple dive bomb and self detonation tactics to complex functions equal to equal to or superior to ACs. I read that wrong, but it's fine. You guys have the idea. All right, guys. First off, if you are watching on YouTube, thank you for watching. Hopefully my takes on Orients for, for on like Gen 4 and Gen 5 didn't uh, trigger you too much. If it did, I'm sorry. Not really, but all right. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.